Guys, oh my god. Okay. I was going more through this um, Robert Fisher case. It got my brain going, which is kind of a good thing because I, I try not to read these at all because like I'll get like all into it and then like, um, uh, let me tell you something. This case is actually just like the mixtape case when they were like, okay, you know, if you guys remember the beginning of the case, they were like, oh, they just probably went to Mexico and took off over the border. I mean, that, that was just like ridiculous because nobody told anybody anything, right? And there was no indication that they were going to go to Mexico. And so for a while there, they were just going on this thing. And then they had all the information wrong, right? They were making assumptions left and right. Now, mind you, this is your government. This is your law enforcement. This is everybody on this. So we got the same thing going on on this one. And because they're all male supremacists, they're completely babyfying this guy. Like, it's unreal. They're like... He did this because he didn't want to feel his kids feel pain. I'm like, the dude is a sociopath. He doesn't care about anybody. So that would be impossible for him to care about any of that. It's not a guy having this one big last fit at the last minute and he just takes everybody out, right? You, we've seen those stories. That's just as bad. That, that's another piece of shit melts up. But the brain process there is um, impulsive. Depending on the case, but yeah, impulsive. This case, this thing here is not impulsive. <laughs> That's what was kind of key to know because I was like, oh, oh, man, no, wait a minute. Okay, so, yes, there's a clear sign that he um, actually uh, was planning this out like at least a week or so in advance. And... What's so ridiculous is everybody's so ignorant. Now, we could thank the church. We could thank the church. Yeehaw. Um, for making everybody ignorant and dumb. Like, I... Uh, if somebody tells me they're suicidal, uh, we just ignore it. And if they start talking funny, like, this is probably the last time I'm going to be doing this. We're just going to ignore it. Totally. This is what my problem has been with these cult freaks. Like, they have t taught them to be this, like, robotic, like, we just ignore it. Oh, you told me that you were raped a million times. We just ignore it. Yeah. We can take the church. And the church also created this guy, by the way. Yes. We're going to point that out because when we start doing these cases, uh, he wouldn't exist if the, all this crap wasn't going on. Um. So then some of these people just don't like me because they're a bunch of Christian cultists. So, they don't want to look at their own goddamn problems as to why this happened. So, here's another thing about it. So, the church is big on the marriage thing, right? They're the ones that want everybody to be married. And so, when you put a psychotic freak like this in a mix of that, he wants to be controlling. Because what was that about? Having property. Women are his property. That's the whole idea about marriage. Hello? So, then... um The thing is, is like... He, it's not his... I guess it's not his idea to get a divorce... So that's gonna be a big problem, and so if he's just, if he if he's actually running on the Christian ideology, which he sounded like he was, or at least or at least play pretending he was, um, he's 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 taking it out on her. That was the whole thing. It's actually him being abusive the whole time, and her trying to defend herself and um, you know, trying to get out of the situation, and everybody's telling her to stay in it. You know, because the church, you shouldn't divorce. You should stay with the abusive piece of shit because you're supposed to submit to that piece of shit. So everything that they condone and they promote is a damn sociopath guy, right? So a lot of them get harmed, right? They're getting raped. They're getting beat. They're all kinds of things, okay? They're getting killed. And... So there was a flag, there was flags all the week before, okay? So the dude, and the cops effed up this case, like, so bad. It's not even, these are my favorite cases. Cold cases where the cops are f ups uh, Totally. I don't know what it is, but I kind of, I, this is a good one that just, it just randomly did. I don't know if it's because, I don't know why it popped up. It was in the middle of stuff I was searching for. I was talking about so th something, and then his face, they came up, and I was like, what's that? 
And so he's most wanted. I'm like, what did this son of a bitch do? And then it just like turned into this thing. And I was like, oh my God, some mixtape case 2.0. He killed himself in a cave. I'm like, that didn't happen. I don't know where you got. Okay, before you even get to that point, you guys, you need to get a timeline. There's legitimately no timeline here. You guys, do you guys understand that? And I'm sitting there going, uh, the, the, everybody that gets on the case, like, they're, like, talking to everybody, right? Like, they don't even care about, like, the details that you, like, really need before you start moving on. You need to wear weird shit like a cave. Um, and I'm sitting there going, can a dog live for 10 days without food and water? Not really. Uh, that, that one, you wouldn't want to push it. Um, and un unlikely, or if, it, if he did, then he would be in really bad condition, because dogs need water after a couple of days, at least. They, I was actually reading that thing on it, trying to make sure, I was like, how do, how did that, okay, so, because the, the crime happened in the middle of the night, on the ninth, right? So he takes off, and he goes to an ATM, I don't know why he pulled out 280. Um, I don't think that there was any, like, plot to go, oh, we're gonna throw off the cops with 280. I, he, there's some reason why he pulled out that odd number. I, I don't know why. It's kind of a strange thing. Um, but we need more information. To try to figure that out. So then, then the cops F up and tell the media, oh, it's the woman's body and the kids, so we're looking, where's the husband? Like, they shouldn't have done that, right? So... Or this one guy's like, it wasn't our people, because um, we didn't do that, you know, because Cause they didn't want to let him up that they knew that he's the one that wasn't in the fire. Because if he's on the run, uh, he may have been feeling pretty comfortable in that period of time. I mean, regardless, if you commit a crime like that, you're going to be running. I mean, you, you want to get way, way ahead of everything. So, um, anyway, they put that information out. But that actually might have been the information that made him dump the car off. Like, there's a weird thing. And if we go back to the Chase case, because I was looking at it going, okay, they're kind of similar. They killed kids, both of them are a bunch of idiots. They're both sociopaths, and they look at humans as objects. And he also dumped a car. And he didn't dump it right away, though. He dumped the car... I don't know if we determined this. He dumped the car either like on the second or, or the third day. I think he did on the second day or something. But we never fully, re de I didn't determine like how he got back. I just said that he probably took public transportation or some friend got him or something. Um, Because he was, it's not like he was like wanted, you know, at the time. So he's not in any, um. He's not in any fear of a public of the public seeing him at that moment, and um, but he still should be concerned. So, but he's that guy, <laughs> you know. I don't know, but I didn't hear anybody come for go. I saw him do this, so it's possible that somebody came and picked him up. Somebody followed him out there. It's possible, and they just didn't say anything during the case. They didn't. They didn't admit to it. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what came out on, on that part, but yeah. But anyway, he did dump the car, but it wasn't. It wasn't the the same day, because okay. So why didn't he dump the car right away? So he had to go bury some bodies, and I'm trying to think of how he did that. So he. How do they determine this? So either that he took the car himself or he came back to the house and moved it. What the fuck did he do there? I don't know. He did something there. It may have been just the stage thing. Like he came back and moved it or I don't know. But there was a thing when they saw the car leave. They were like assuming it was their car. And I'm like, you only have a bumper thing and you just assume that. And Chase has a white truck too. So yeah, and it turned out... I think that that was Chase's truck, actually. So they had that wrong in the case, right? So this is another case that's going to be very kind of like that. Um, there's a lot less evidence. Well, maybe it's roughly the same, because in that case, there wasn't really anything other than a shady guy that you kind of thought to do. But, um, 
here there's a strange thing okay so he's already talking about he's not going to no longer be there okay so yeah that could be one of two things someone's being legitimately suicidal and they're preparing their end or someone's preparing to go commit a murder and they're going to go on the run you actually don't know that in between those two when they talk about that because when they go oh you know we need to educate people on suicide and it's like, oh, should we also educate them on these sociopaths that, like, actually might murder a family? Because the, the, actually the actions are the same. Uh, they may sound the same. <laughs> yeah. I, I would actually rather be more educated on that. <laughs> really, but, um, yeah, so, anyway. The fire was actually a little bit more sophisticated than just a candle. I didn't realize it. So they had put out some additional information that he pulled out a firecracker also. And I'm like, where do you get the firecracker? I don't know. He had a he had a random firecracker, I guess, around. So he brings in a firecracker into this. And he also did something that I, you would have to be into this because I was like, what? He took a battery, taped a wire to it, and then put these like foiled papers on the other end of it and i'm like i don't know what that does because i i don't build bombs over here but um and i'm not going to look it up because then google will probably think i'm trying to make a bomb and they'll go oh fbi and it's like what no so um anyways the that that's very thought out that isn't that isn't like oh my god i'm so mad at these you know my wife and I'm going to just kill off my family and then, oh, let me come up with these concocted bombs in the house. You know what I mean? Like this whole other thing. It just randomly like, it, no, because if you were going to do that and you never did it before, then what you would do is you might go, okay, I'm going to go look up online. There wasn't a hell of a lot online in 2001, but there, there, there was stuff. Uh, cause that's when that whole AC thing happened and we were on those forums. That's why I said, I go, he might have leftover stuff online, um, on those alt groups and stuff. I don't know if he used anything like that. Um, but yeah, there, there was some things online. They had forums and private groups and Yahoo groups and a number of things that you could still kind of pull today like if you know how to get to them because i could still pull the old ac stuff up so i don't know if he was on those groups i could see him totally up on there but um i don't know i'm not sure those are just other things like if he's um socializing with other people so i don't know but anyway um beyond that um so he got, he has a job, right? So at his job, he's friendly with people. I don't know if he had something with somebody at the job. Um, but then he tell, okay, so finally a friend comes in on a new, it was a newer video because this girl wants to go jump in caves. Like, I was like, dude, you're wasting our time. He's not in a damn cave. Can you answer some questions here? We need to figure a timeline. The timeline is important because... To me, the way I'm looking at it right now, I'm like, oh, it looks like he went to another place first. I mean, that's just my automatic thing on it because I'm like, I don't believe that he went and dumped a car and left the dog there for 10, 11 days. Like, I just, that didn't, and where's all his stuff, right? So I was like, oh, he probably did the chase thing. He had to go do something first, right? So what did chase do? Anyway, he went and he went and done, he had to go bury some bodies, right? So he had to go drive all the way out to friggin' Rancho Cucamonga, which was, I don't know, what was it? A two hour, two hours were missing in this one portion, and, you know, and then however much time it took him to go back, and then, then he comes back to the house, and God knows, and all that stuff. You know, I forgot the whole sequence of events, but anyway, he comes back, and, you know, then the, the car gets found dumped over by the border. So, I don't believe that was, he didn't, I don't believe he did that the first day. Because he wouldn't be able to go back. So, we might have a similar thing where, do you gotta go where he's gonna go take off to first, and then jump his stuff off, 
and then he has to stage a scene because that's what he did over there right he staged a scene so yeah that's why i was like hey, okay wait i was like that's probably in this case too because i was like why would he take all this stuff nobody suicidal is going to take all their stuff guys i'm sorry i'm just letting you know that's just not a thing and in all these family sides, they just take themselves out. Why would you go through all that work? You know what I mean? You're going to go kill everybody and you want to kill yourself. Then you're going to light the house on fire. That's the perfect thing. So why are you leaving the house, man? You know, <laughs> that's the thing. So then, so then, yeah, you're not taking out money. You're like, why are you taking out money? You're not taking out money. You're not doing any of that shit. I'm sure that car had plenty of gas to go. Then, otherwise, I would say that if he didn't have enough gas, then he went to a gas station. Where's the gas station stuff? You know? Where's all that? Um. So, anyway. Yeah, there's a, there's a potential that he went somewhere else first and then came and jumped the car. And then threw people off. So when he went, he actually went on a camping trip a week prior or so. Like they're throwing out days. I'm like, please be specific, specific. Don't say a week. Like, was it for sure seven days? Was it 10 days? Was it three days? Because I read somewhere it was like three days. And then someone says a week before. And I'm like, well, week is seven days now. That's not three days. You need the exact days. Does anybody freaking know? Oh, it's so screwed up, you guys. You don't even know. So they throw that out. Those things are so important. So he, what he's doing is he's scouting a, an area that he's familiar with, which would make sense because you want to go where you know. Um, mostly if you're trying to escape, invade cops. Okay, so you're trying to invade cops here. So that's what he's kind of looking at. And the the... <laughs> The friend is saying it in hindsight. He's like, oh, yeah, like when we went out here, this is the same spot. And he was looking out here and this and that. Then he said he asked some other guy about traveling this one route and then just asking, oh, what's on the route? Is there houses? Is there this? There's that. So he's just trying to see the maybe that the route is populated and stuff. Like, why wouldn't he know this, though, already? Does it, hasn't he lived out there his whole life? I think he has. So, I don't know why, I don't know, it's, not, I mean, it's kind of weird. Um, but anyways, he's asking that. So, that place is kind of, I think, is like on the way to where he dumped the car. So, to me, I'm like, I don't know if it's a thing where he's like just questioning the, I don't know, just the route itself. It's kind of weird. I don't know if it, there's a side route where he goes around. I don't know. There's something there that he was questioning to see if people would see him. And so anyway, ultimately, he does end up going out in the same area the following days later to at least at a minimum jump the car. So I was like, OK, so from that point, you don't know what he did, but there's more plots in place. OK, you guys. So that's why I'm saying I go, OK, you, you see that he pre-planned it at least a week out. Now, there, now, some of the tail off to that is, I guess, about two weeks, like, it was, like, within the two weeks span there that the wife decided that she was wanting to divorce him. And I don't know if she verbally told him or what the hell, what the hell, what the hell. So, um, the, yeah, so him hearing that, he's just like, you're never going to leave me. You know, this starts going on this. But also, at the same time, you don't know about his secondary life. So, he's obviously having something going on over here because uh, that nobody knows who he is. That's the greatest thing. Nobody knows who he is. Nobody knows who he really is. Not even the sister. Like, nobody knows who he really is. So, he, he does not have a, a fucking care in the world about any y'all. He doesn't care about kids. He doesn't care about anything. Everything's an object and he would not kill over the sake of, oh, to cause some, to not let somebody have his pain. You gotta, you gotta be kidding me. So, Stop babyfying him. Stop mansplaining his bullshit. Stop cuddling white men when they commit crimes like this. Like, literally, one of the detectives or something said, like, you know, maybe the 
the only thing and the maybe it's the best thing in the case is that we just know he did it. It's like, excuse me? I would be so frustrated being family members in here of this piece of shit. But the father, I think, died the, of the mother. He's older and just as naive as everybody else. He starts off like, I love him. I was like, dude, the dude like literally brutally murdered your fucking dog. He doesn't give a shit. I know it makes me so mad because I'm telling you, this is the frustration that I have with those people. Is that I will tell them straight to their face. The guy literally did this. Oh, you know, yeah, well, we don't see it. Yeah, totally. No. The church did that, though. They're all, like, bobbleheads. Like, it's just, like, dude, the dude, like, literally has flags, like, a million everywhere. It's just, like, he's a walking disaster. Oh, and they finally show the pictures of the people that they thought was him. I was, like, nah. I was, like, nope. Nope. I'll tell you something about him, a feature that you guys can't see, which I tend to see in all these guys in these particular socios. They have a devil face. I'm like, you guys like talk about the devil. Um, he has a very sinister smile that he cannot hide. And I don't know what that is or why they have it. Because if you go to the Columbine case, look at that kid's face. He has it. He cannot pretend a warm smile. He can't pretend a warm face. He can't pretend a blank face. Uh, even though they're master manipulators. Something about their facial feature, we should just call it psycho fuck pop face. So, you know, like... But anyway, he has a sinister look, a smile, a smirk. There's something with his face. Features that he cannot, he actually can't, he can't mask that. Um, don't ask why. Th this is just one feature of these types that it's like, they, they all don't have that. But uh, uh, there's these certain ones that do, yeah. Um, I, I mean, we can come up with all kinds of things. Like, it's because he's just generally never happy. And he's always got, like, crime on his mind. I mean, that's really, like, the... I mean, I don't know. I don't know why that is. They have a very sinister... The sinister smile thing. It's actually um, part of his traits. Like, he can't, like, hide it. It's just part of his features. It's an addition. Yeah, you'll see when he's even having a resting face. There's this sort of, like, you know, this thing to it. That guy that they pulled up from Canada was like this totally normal looking dude. I mean, I mean, there were similarities, sure. But the face, no. I was like, that guy's not a psychopath. You know what I mean? Like, if you showed me a photo of the guy, I would be like, I physical feature face. Like, um, that's not the sinister psycho face. So that's not, that's not him. <laughs> I was like, just by that alone. Don't ask why. These people don't seem to see it, and I'm pointing it out. The eye thing, the facial feature, there's a facial thing that they can't hide. They don't have warmth inside. You know, like, we get, we can be genuinely happy and nice, right? And you look sweet as hell. He cannot actually mimic that look. It, yeah, he has a facial thing where he can't do that. He always will look like he's about to commit a murder. Yeah. Or that he just committed one. He's like a fire starter. You know that look? So that's important. He could hide it only if he had a beard or something. And hide that portion of his face. Which could throw me off. I don't know if I've seen that look with that. And that may be why I didn't notice the look. Because it's covered by their beards. You know? Look at like Santa Claus. You know? Like. Because now you can hide the, the sinister thing. You can't hide the sinister eyes. But, but the but the, the mouth, the smirk. There's a... They have a, a strange feature that not everybody has. But a lot of men do. And a lot of men like to play pretend that look. But no, it's actually... I don't, I don't know why they have it. But it is like... That would be a genetic thing, right? Some part of that whole thing right there. No, I should just, like, pull up pictures of all these guys that have that and just show you. And you could study it. I don't know. I just, I automatically see it. I'm a visual. Okay, so what else can we say about this guy? Okay, so the fire was hella planned out. Um, and then he also put accelerants. I mean, we know that part. That doesn't take much thought, doing the accelerant. And then if you, like, threw a match or something. Like, that doesn't take much thought. 
The thing that takes much thought is pulling out that freaking damn hose thing or what he did. Like, it's a thought out thing. Like, he was trying to go, okay, how can I, like, literally singe this house on fire? And it would have been a thought, like, way before just an hour, okay? So, um, and he, he wasn't even there for an hour. I think, I, I don't know. Like, they, the, the only timeline that they gave was, like, somewhere between 9.30 and 10 something. This guy... Uh, did this and they're like we don't really know if there was even a fight and it's like I don't even know what the fuck you guys don't know anything it's unlikely if there was a fight then it was her trying to fight for her life maybe that's what they heard is her like ah don't get away from me and then he's like coming out with a knife and shit you know and then he goes and slashes them. And somebody actually pointed something out that was kind of interesting, too. And I go, yeah, you're making a point. Like, I don't know. Uh, tell me. They go, why didn't he just shoot the kids? The thing about... And that's actually something special to note. Because when people use guns, it's a less personal, right? It's a less personal thing. And in this case, he made it personal. He didn't like those kids. I keep telling you, he had some weird, and I picked it up. It was so crazy. I was watching the videos and I go, he doesn't like his son, dude. He, he, I don't know why he doesn't like his son, but it was way before he would be able to fish and hunt. Like he's rejecting his son. You know, there's these cases of moms rejecting their kids. So this guy's rejecting his kids, except for he's really close with the daughter. I don't like him being all hands on and all that crap because that could indicate some other crap. I don't know why his main focus is the daughter. And he's ignoring and rejecting the son. It was a weird thing. He doesn't like either one. I mean, he has no attachment to either one. They're objects. But, like, it was like an obvious... It seemed like an obvious thing. But I was thinking, I was like, maybe it's just the clips that they pull forward. So it's just, like, lopsided. Like, just showing me only the clips where he's like that. But if you look at the family photo, too, his hand's on the girl... And then the boy is way over there. And then they started giving stories about it. And I didn't even read the wiki thing yet. And so I went to wiki and I was like reading going, I need some more details. Because what the hell? So yeah, they said that he was embarrassed of his son. Because he basically he wasn't a male supremacist. Uh, that he's not manly enough. He, he doesn't want to hunt and fish. Yeah. That's that's from the church, that male supremacist thing, that, that thing right there, that's a church thing. And so then, um, yeah, so, and it's also a sociopath, by the way, so it's just an automatic socio. No, it's, um, the that's part of that thing right there. So he's too much of a sissy, he's too much of like a girl, right? But yet he's all close to the girl but he, did you notice he's trying to like make the girl into a boy it's like i have enough i've had enough of this shit you were gonna march you around like a fucking soldier and do this thing you're gonna walk around with a fucking <laughs> this thing and then so what he did was it said on the thing that neither one knew how to swim this sounds like something my dad would do too he's like he took the kids and just like threw them into the water and they started screaming i mean this is horrible traumatic right like, he's acting like he's they're taking him into the military. <clears throat> As I said, those military son of a bitches are a bunch of sociopaths. So, he goes and he does some shit like that. Like, they're going to be getting ready to go on the war field. And they need to not have any sense of humanity in them. They need to have no soul so they can go out and murder people. That is the absolute mindset of what government wants to create in men. In all children. And so they'll come at us and go, these women are psychotic and emotional. Because for us, when we train our military, having emotions is bad. Because you will not do anything, you know, you won't want to kill random people. Which you shouldn't want to kill random people. The whole concept of this is fucking disgusting. But this is this whole thing about it, right? We need to do that to protect ourselves. I was like, well, you're not protecting anybody by killing us all. So... Um, and you're a bunch of sociopaths and it needs to be pulled out and they need to explain that like we have to sociify our military men so they go out and kill so if you know oh those guys are sociopaths okay but leave them away from everybody else okay so you don't want to fix that shit okay fine but that's a military you're joining a fucking military 
your home life is not fucking military. You don't need to pacify your children. So they're going to go out and start shooting up the place. That's what's happening. Like, that's really the thing around it. And, um, and they're abusive, right? So they're off raping everybody. When you're a sociopath, you do harm to self and others. That's a harm to self and others. So yes, uh -huh. so this guy here is not above raping, pillaging, killing, <laughs> um, nothing. Like this guy has no line. And the gross thing is if any of his friends ever got in the middle of this, he would have just taken him out to, you know? <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's really the truth of it. This sister is actually, I guess she's scared now. She's like, I'm actually, I guess she told him and she's afraid if he comes around. Yeah. Uh, he actually has a mindset. Like there was a, that other guy that I brought up on that other case where he killed his, um, his, his army sister, sister, the fuck's his name? Tony Dotson. That dude, this guy kind of on that level. So what he does is he killed, he killed his sister, right? We don't know what else he did with the sister, but he's also a rapist. And so he rapes people, he kills them, and then he plays pretend that he didn't do it. So then his, one of his rape victims lived. And then he goes and tries to hire a hitman while he's in prison to go kill the victim. So yeah, I mean, this guy's like that. Uh-huh, yeah. I, I would be, I would not want the guy around. So he knows not to go to anybody because everybody's going to turn him in anyway. And, and he doesn't like anybody. He doesn't want anybody in his life. None of those people, right? Like, that's how he's looking at everybody. Um, now, whether he's alive right now or not, I don't know. But at the time of, um, there was no indication that he did that. Because that's not a typical way that a suicidal person would go on. So, um, so yeah, you would not go take all your stuff and cruise around and, you know, it doesn't make sense. Like now sometimes like suicidal people will take, like if they have some certain sentimental items, you know what I mean? Like they might take those things and then go and then, you know what I mean? Like if they have a special book or so, you know, like some bullshit like that. But this ain't that case. This guy don't have that type of soul. So I was like, okay, first of all, it just doesn't make any sense. You just, you just concocted this huge like blowout and blow up and it's like you're not in it <laughs> you know like you're supposed to be suicidal you're not inside that thing um okay and then the part where he takes all the stuff now they're not being specific on what he took because i'm sitting there going is it a lot of stuff is it just a few items of clothing is it is, what is it what, what are we looking at here and um, when you're saying he took all his stuff so they haven't talked on that and no idiot that's been talking about the case like the reporter whoever it is they're doing these videos for like arizona tv something and it's like i've been on the case for 20 years it's like good okay so what are the specifics can you tell me how much stuff he took with them can you tell me these details that like totally matter because he, he it's going to determine whether he walked through a forest with all that crap like i need you need you need the physical uh, sizing here of stuff. Because if it's a thing where you just took like 10 items of clothes and threw it in a backpack, okay, well, yeah. But if you're, they said they took all his clothes. I'm like, well, what's all his clothes? I don't know how to gauge all his clothes because I don't know what his fucking clothes are. How much clothes he had. And then they said how much stuff he had and, and his stuff. They said and his stuff. I'm like, well, I don't know what and his stuff is. Are you talking about his favorite chair? Are you talking about all his shoes? Like, does he have 20 shoes? Does, um, you know, like his favorite teddy bear? Like, I don't freaking know what that means. And it matters because it's like, how big, what is the vicinity? Like him taking stuff. Because if I moved out right now, I have a U-Haul. You know what I mean? So I don't know what that means. And it matters because if he drove that fucking truck to the middle of the fucking forest and he has a U-Haul full of stuff, he's not going to put that on his back and travel with it. And why would you take all your stuff when you're suicidal? No suicidal person does that because they're not going with it. They don't care. They leave everything behind you guys. Every case. We could pull up every case of a suicidal person. 
so and so went missing and their phone and everything was left behind in the house sometimes even their shoes like just uh there's no need for it they're leaving planet earth so the way that their brain is operating is i'm going somewhere and i'm gonna leave right versus i need to pre-plan and i'm gonna bring a bunch of clothes with me and all my stuff it does that doesn't happen that's what i'm saying i go that's not that's not a thing but if somebody does that right and they take all their stuff we need to have a concept to how much stuff this is it matters it matters because I, I i'm sitting here going i don't think that dude was strolling around in the fucking forest with all the shit like i just you know like it just doesn't seem right what could have happened is there was another location and he went and he was he or he had been taking stuff over that's another thing so they don't know when that stuff was gone i don't think they would be able to determine that portion very well because it's like you would have to know what he was doing all week or even months prior like was this a slow process of him taking stuff somewhere i mean how much stuff were we talking about we don't know when the stuff was gone i don't know he could have taken it out the week before he may have had a place that he stayed because he got kicked out because when they're fighting, I don't know. That's what I'm saying. I go, there's something missing here. I'm like, where's this other place? Who? There's some other possible other place. And I don't know where that'd be. I mean, it could be in another area somewhere else, like, where he camps out. I mean, who knows? But I'm. he could have another girlfriend, okay? So I don't know if he has another girlfriend. He had one before, like he did a cheating thing. And I'm like, well, that he just only got caught on that one thing. We well, you don't know he hasn't, that's not his normal activity. So, and he most likely pays cash for that kind of thing. So that's a thing. So it's like, there's a problem here. Cause I don't know if he has another relationship with some other not so great person or they're just naive as hell as everybody else in here. But, um, yeah, because I don't believe if he goes on the run that he's going to stay single for 20 years. This guy's like such a womanizer, too. Like, I don't want to use a womanizer. He needs to um, have a woman to control. And so it's kind of like... Uh, oh, these guys are automatically rapists, by the way. By the way, by the way. I don't know if she ever mentioned any situation like that. Um, probably she looked at it as like, controlling and made me do it type of thing but yeah these guys are like automatically rapists so that is another trait of their type um i would call him a serial killer type they didn't want to call him a serial killer type so like he's more of um i don't know they want to class him as a family side type of guy but i'm like he's actually his traits are actually that of a, a serial killer as they're talking about him i was like yeah he's like off murdering Oh, they said even that thing got worse, actually. Beyond just rubbing blood all over his body from the dead animal, they said he took all these, like, massive graphic photos of, like, the blood and the guts and everything else of the animal. Yeah. He's a serial killer type, big time. Yeah. I'm off. Well, that wasn't a clue in for you. They said that they were weirded out by it. Yeah. But I would also gross out my friends like that. I mean, like purposely, but it's not me enjoying that. There's actually a difference. Okay, so there's some people that like, they know it's disturbing and then they want to like totally up with you about it. You know what I mean? But then there's those that actually enjoy it. Like he's actually, I don't know what the hell's going on in his mind about it. But um, yeah, that was a clue in. I keep laughing about this knee surgery. I was just thinking about it because I was like, there was this knee surgery thing that came on TV one day. It was so disgusting. Oh my God. I, I can't even, like in real life, I cannot like even deal with any of that. But it almost got to the point where you're so grossed out that you kind of have that, that uncomfortable laugh thing. So anyway, I was like, oh my God, this is so disgusting. They were like doing this massive knee surgery. So I videotaped it on the, the VHS. My friend comes over and I turn it on. She's like, oh, no, get it off. Get it off. Like, doing that whole thing. I got a reaction. You know what I mean? Like, it's like that thing. 
it's not that I enjoy it, but you wouldn't know, right? No, no, but I didn't enjoy it. I was like enjoying the, the tormenting, making her watch it like type of thing. Cause it's funny, but no, it's disgusting. It's fucking disgusting. I can't actually No, no, I will black out. It's actually, it's a thing. I think that's a, a mechanism. Like I ha like, that's a way to deal with it. Like I'm going to go <laughs> make my friends watch it. Um, but this guy, no, definitely. The mindset is like Jeffrey Dahmer here. Like he's, um, wanting to slaughter people. So he knows how to do it. Like he's been killing animals the whole time, right? His stuff, like doing that. So like, so imagine how he thought of the animal when he did it. So he takes his kids and they're the animal. Like he's treating them as that garbage, right? He's doing that. And he's enjoying doing it. It's really up close and personal. He wants to do it. Because otherwise you could just, you, they were right. I was like, you could just have shot everybody. Like, I mean, you shouldn't shoot anybody. But I'm just saying like his choice of weaponry here is interesting. Because he had both the things going on here. And the knife thing is horrific. So he, he wanted to enjoy he wanted the, he had an enjoyment of murdering his children because he had an enjoyment killing the animals, right? So he had an enjoyment. He, he's just like, you know, just to, he needed to do the action. It's disgusting. He's a piece of shit. He's a, he's the biggest piece of shit I've ran across in a while. I was like, oh, let me do this case. I'm going to be so annoying on it because it's just like everything about it is annoying. Every human on it, every man on it is a piece of shit because they have no regard for women. And they would sit there. They were like, we should just let him go. You know, like it's like, no, because he was on the top 10 of the FBI wanted. And then they suck so bad that they couldn't find him. And then he kind of got down a notch, right? Um, yeah, FBI, great job. <laughs> like, you guys couldn't figure it. What's the timeline? Did FBI figure a timeline? I'm just wondering, did FBI figure a timeline? Um, because I'm telling you, I'm having a difficulty with that. Because, uh, the dog thing kind of throws you off. Because, and, 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 and that, I, I highly doubt that dog was there from right after the, the, the house exploded. I think that dog would have died or it would have taken off to try to find food. It may have just let itself die. I mean, it would, it because it, it depends. The dog seems scared, like it, the, the damn area. I don't know. I don't know. Can't say. I don't think it would have lived for 10, 11 days. He wouldn't have tied it up. Um, And then there was only that one other scenario. If he killed himself out there, blah, blah, blah. But he would have all this stuff, you guys. It's not a thing where, oh, the bones would be dragged everywhere and no one would find it. I'm like, dude, he would have had, like, a bag. He would have had, I mean, that bag would have been huge if it was, like, all his stuff. He would have had um, the gun, the, I don't know what he did with the gun and the knife. Uh, he could have actually went out to the forest there. He could have went out to the forest there and rid of the, of the, um murder weapons he could have done that as well because it's a jumping off point and i'm trying to go okay he's not if he's alive which he probably was um he doesn't want to run around with the the weapons because they started looking for him on the 14th okay so i'm thinking like it is possible he was somewhere else and then they heard that then now he's being looked for and then um something like that and then he may have had to take a trip back to jump the cart. Like, the thing is, is that we don't know where he went. <laughs> it's like, we have no specific timeline, so I can't gauge and determine um, how far he could have went. Unlike the Merrick case, I knew that there was a two-hour span, and you have to fill it, right? And so when you go and you look from where the house was to where uh, he lived, uh, there was plenty of time, right? There was, I go, oh, there, you could fit this right here, right? So you have to do that with this. And if there's no, uh, timeline, I'm like, uh, you know? So I was like, if, if you, now I can go on scenarios. So I was like, oh, let's say the 14th, he heard about it. 
And now he's like four, how many days in? Yeah, he'd be on the 10th, 11th, 12th, wait, 10th to the 11th. How did this go? Okay, so yeah, on the night of the 9th. So technically in, in the, the a.m. of the 10th. So the 10th, the, the house explodes. So now, okay, so we have the 10th, we have the 11th, we have the 12th, we have the 13th, we have the 14th. Is that right? <laughs> 10, 11, 12. Uh, basically four or five days, right? On the 14th, he hears this thing. So there's time right there, and I'm kind of like, okay, well, he could have, he had plenty of time to drive outside the state. Like, he could have gone next door, and then he 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 has a new place over there, right? And then he hears all the shit on the media, and he's like, shit, I gotta get rid of this fucking car, you know? And then he goes and he dumps the there in the middle of the night. Does some bullshit. It would take him some time to drive back. Now, I don't know if he would do that. But that's what I'm saying. I go, there's no timeline to figure uh, that. Because I'm having a hard time believing that the dog was there for 10 days. Say is that he blew up the house, went and took $280, took all his shit, went out to that area right there, and then killed himself. And I'm like, uh, no, this is not Mexico shit again. He could have went to Mexico, though. I mean, on this case, uh, that I mean, that's a possibility, too. But I, there's also a good possibility that he stayed around. When I'm saying nearby, I mean in the state or in the neighboring states. That's what I was saying. I was like, I, I, I would not put that past him. Because he's, the reason, because he's familiar and he may have already had a, um, I don't know if he had another girlfriend or something. Okay, so last, the only the only thing that I saw that was of any, any interest and of a lead that I would be like, hmm, maybe, uh, was this old man in the story where they said they went to a, it was like a little store thing in Young, Arizona, and this old man, now it could just be the old man's crazy, dude, and he'd just be going on because he's like senile or some shit. But it also could be that he's, because he's senile and all wacky, that he kind of slipped up here. And they said that he came in with the oxygen thing or something like that. And he was all kind of crutched. And he had a little kid with him. And I guess it was in 2007 or 8. And I go, oh, what if that's his new kid? Like, I was thinking about it. Because, so, what happened was they had a FBI poster and with this picture on it. And the old man starts pointing out. He's like, w w why is he on there? That's my friend. He's He didn't do anything wrong. And, like, all this stuff, like, going off, right? And he's, like, totally the type that would cover, cover up for him, right? He's, like, basically saying it. And I'm like, hmm. And I was thinking about it. I was like... I could see, I could actually legitimately see that happening. Like, it's a possible scenario. It's like one of those where I was like, that one, I wouldn't blow it off. I don't know where they live, but I was like, what if, what if, like, he hasn't, he has a brand new family. That was one of his kids that that old man was bringing over. Cause he's, I guess he told them that he was like his son. He probably went home and he's all telling, I see your picture, I don't want a poser, you know, like what? Then they're probably all manipulating. I didn't do that. I wasn't even there at the time. There's some setup. Somebody's trying to set me up. Y'all, that's right, because you, you seem like a good boy. You seem like a good boy. You wouldn't do no evil thing like that. We'll protect you here. That's horrible. We'll just wait. We'll pray for God, you know, we'll find the real killer over there. Totally. I, these people are on that level. So I was like, ah, uh, that one, you could get away with it over like that. Let's say you got a new girlfriend and that's her hillbilly dad and they live fucking on a ranch somewhere and they're sitting there like, you know, well, he didn't do it. You need to get the hell off here. You know, that shit. And they live off like that. Totally. And that, that wouldn't be that hard. The only problem is, is if he has any medical emergencies, you know, uh, there might be an issue there. Um, I don't, I mean, but they could also help him get a new identity too. They're like, they keep looking for me. They keep thinking I did that. All right, I will help you. I y'all use my fucking, I don't know. Anyway, I'm just saying you, you guys might think that's ridiculous. 
to uh i'm not sure but i was just like well we could have been seeing somebody on the side that's why i was like i don't know what's going on there and if he is alive and on the run he most likely would have a new family and i was like well there was a little kid there with that guy so i was like and he would have been maybe he was around the age that would have been possible imagine this you guys like it's been 20 years since he's been on the run he would have a like a 20 year old kid now yeah it's been more than 20 years it's like 22 some odd years yeah what if he got somebody else pregnant in the middle of this you know you just don't know the story the background story that's why i'm like that one right there i could run with i could see that actually happening i don't know how it happened but uh maybe 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 it was a maybe when they were camping and doing all these like crazy shit they met a family and he, he knew them and you know i don't know but that's just i don't know that's the thing because you don't know there's a side there's something missing in the story that i'm just like um well, what are we looking for here? This is kind of strange. And I also think it's strange that he would leave quarters in a car. I'm sorry. Because I'm telling you, if I'm on the run, I'm going to be taking them quarters. Because back then, cell phones were not that big. They probably didn't have cell phones. Because, I don't know, they're not mentioning of them having cell phones. I don't know, using anything. But, um, yeah, I had started getting the prepaid ones. And then when did I... I don't know. It was a because they were talking about that too um but what you did have is a lot of quarters right because you need to do pay phones if you're like out somewhere and then you also needed quarters for laundry mats um now mind you they had a house but he blew it up um but you you would need quarters for laundry mats and you would need quarters for car wash you in, might use quarters for toll booths so I was trying to think of all these things of why they had this like roll of quarters. So it looked like somebody pulled a roll of quarters, dumped it out in there, and then used a portion of them. That's just my, that's what it looked like from the photo. So I was like, well, there's, I don't, I can't determine if it was the mom that did it and he just didn't touch it. Or if he did that and dumped it in there. And then when he dumped the car, he either forgot to take it out. Or didn't feel the need. Why would you not feel the need that you would need any additional money? I don't know. Like something weird about it. Like if I'm going to jump the car, I would totally look through it, right? Didn't it look like he looked through everything? Like, I don't know. Like I would. It could, I mean, I don't think he's like going on like that. Like I'm going to leave some quarters to really throw them off. It would be a mistake, like he or like he just didn't think about it. like he had used the car to go somewhere else to use the quarters, put him in that thing, and then forgot about it. Like it would be more like that, or it was there and he just never opened the side thing. Um, I, but again, I don't know why he wouldn't, but he might, he may not have, and it was just hers. He's on the run. Right. Well, I mean, pulled out $280. Like, why wouldn't you take the quarters? That's what I'm saying. I go, you guys don't understand the mindset there. Because I know I would take the quarters. I'm I'm sticky finger. No. I was, like, thinking about it. Because I was like, God, if you're trying to hide from everyone, and then you find additional money, why would you leave it? You wouldn't want to leave it. Mostly then, not the quarters. I, I would want the quarters. It's hard to get quarters today. Do you guys know that? <laughs> I was like... I was like, no, I would take the quarters. I'm dead serious. So that's his, his mind's going to be worse than mine, right? So his mind, he he's in the real deal right there. So his thinking is like survival. Um, I'm a sociopath, so stealing ain't a big deal. And, you know, I need to do this. So taking the quarters wouldn't have been a big deal at all. Like, yeah, why wouldn't you want to take the quarters? <laughs> like it might be it's one of those things that might be clued to something else and that's why i was like ah, do you think that i was like thinking about it because i was like okay so he has some bloody clothes right so i'm like where's these fucking bloody clothes at you know because i doubt he sat there at the house and did laundry though he could have in the middle of doing all this other crap and putting shit in the car um but uh because all he technically needs to do is just wash it you know what i mean because it's like you know, because he's going to have bloody clothes. And that's a that's a crime scene thing. Like, he wants to rid of that. 
So I was trying to think, I was like, well, maybe he didn't do the clothes at the house, and he just threw all his shit, like, into a bag. And, um, I can't tell from the ATM pictures if there's blood on the clothes. That's what I was trying to zoom in on, because I was like, I don't think he was running around with blood all over his clothes, and just doing that. Um, but who knows? But he has some clothing with blood on him. Because you can't do that crime without um, being a bit of a mess there, guys. So, where's that? And he, he, could, he had... Okay, so they had said he had coffee. And I'm confused about the coffee. I'm like, does it look like he got coffee from the house? Does it look like he went to a 7-Eleven? Like, I'm... Um, now, 7-Eleven, oh my god, this was the time period where I would have my own coffee mug. You could bring your own coffee mug, and then it was all cheap. Like, you go into 7-Eleven, and then they, you get coffee, like, less, okay, instead of buying their cup thing. And so you could bring any cup in, basically. So I was like, I don't know if it's that. Because the coffee cup that they're showing in there just looked like an open metal thing. And I'm like, I don't know. Or it was a paper one, and they're showing the leftover out outside thing i was confused by that what they were trying to go on there but um yeah i mean that depends too is it a home coffee thing or is it like he went into 7-eleven and got coffee and then if he did that he would have had time to go sit at a 24-hour laundromat and do his fucking clothes and try to hide that fucking bloody clothing thing um i don't know why you do that but on these cases, it's weird. Like, people start doing these cleaning jobs, right? So, he had time to do a cleanup job. Um, that would be just not an important... I mean, I that one, I don't know. That's why I was trying to look at it going, could the quarter thing be signifying, uh, si signaling to something else right there, too? Because, uh, we, well, we got to figure out what he did with the bloody clothes. We got to figure out what he did with the the knife and what he did with the gun and what he did with all his shit. That's the thing. I go, that's, um, he's hiding stuff. Because did they say when they came to the scene that they found his bloody clothes? I didn't hear him say anything like that. They said he took all his clothes and his stuff. They said that it was a and his stuff. So I'm like, well, I, fuck. So the dude went somewhere else. He went somewhere else, you guys. But I would take uh, that lead there in the young thing. Um, I don't think they ever seen that guy again. That's why I said I go, that's a strange one because <laughs> it almost sounds like that old fucking couple, right? That old man. I don't know why he was down in the area, but uh, they never seen him again. Like, so he may live in a whole other area. And for some reason, just that day, he happened to have to go all the way over there for some oddball reason. And he's actually not in that vicinity there. That would make more sense to me than anything else. Like, it's just, uh, I happen to be passing through because some crap, some crap, some crap, and he's not typically in the area. So it means that they, they're further out somewhere. Yeah, he could totally live like that. That would, that would be one way that he could get away with it. Yeah, definitely. The fucking hillbilly family helping him out. He didn't do it, that boy. He's a good boy. Because everybody's talking that way right now. All his friends and family originally, originally, were talking that when before he he actually did anything. They were talking like that at that time. And there was flags like freaking everywhere. This guy's a piece of shit. And then, um, but for some reason, the way that they view, they because they're, they're indoctrinated into thinking that you know, everybody's these good people. They don't, they, they don't harbor this type of thing. It's called a PD. It's called a personality disorder from fucking hell. And it's one that is what makes like real life devils. Okay. So if you want to believe in a devil, um, the devil is real inside a human. Um, that, that, that's, but it's not a devil. It's a, it's a personality disorder where they're void of, um, they're void of everything. They don't have the capacity to feel empathy towards anyone. Um, they, now some, some I said, some seem to have some towards some people. Oh, we also found out the guy is fine with sh killing dogs. 
So if his dog died, see, that's how come he can do some shit like this. Okay. We'll talk about the animal thing. Not every sociopath will go out murdering a bunch of animals, okay? But some have the capacity to where they might do it because, you know, it just, there needs to be a reason. This guy just randomly murdered a dog, okay? So he randomly murdered a pit bull. I don't like pit bulls, but I wouldn't go out killing them or anything like that. So he made up an excuse and just, like, murdered a pit bull, okay? That's psychotic. So he's already killing animals and there's some enjoyment like he wants to kill things. So this is actually a bad sign. They don't all do this, but this is a bad sign, guys. So he does this. So <clears throat> nobody has any value to him in life, okay? Other than what he wants to use for whatever bullshit, you know, at the time and he's a master manipulator so he could totally be with the new family and he's just manipulating the shit out of them or he's being very threatening and he's like i will do this to you if you do this and it's like holy crap so either one of those things could be going on that actually could be going on um who knows but he um yeah so he's not against killing dogs so he's the type that you know i'm gonna leave my dog here let it have a chance to live but if it dies oh well yeah totally that's him. I was like, yeah, he didn't kill the dog though. But it's sort of a, it's sort of a, a to throw you off type of thing right there. So, um, that's what I'm saying. I go, I don't know where he went and it's important for people to, um, try to figure out his side activities, mostly in that week prior, because, um, he, uh, it appears that there's another place and I'm like, well, how the hell would he go to another place? Um, the place would not be in the vicinity where the car was dumped because number one, he would not dump his car right by where he's at. Number two, um, he had to ask questions about that area to where when he dumped the car off. So what you want to see is like areas surrounding and further out because he obviously would know where another area is, but he didn't not this area so no it's not going to be at that area so that's why i was like um i don't i don't know so yeah it may have been somewhere in the state <clears throat> no he may or just went over somewhere else in the state i don't know where he is now he got 20 years man he could have 20 year old kids right now and then they all move somewhere else like a happy family he could have a new identity he could have all sorts of things going on and, yeah, I was reading some other cases. It was actually not too hard for some of these other guys for, like, 20 years out. Just moving around. And it's not like anybody really knows this case that well. Like, general population. I just randomly heard it recently. So, if I ran into him a million times, I would have no idea. But, like, the more you get a story out, the more someone goes, oh, now I recognize him. Because they didn't know before, right? There's just a lot of people that don't know who he is. That's it. That's all. That's that. That helps him out. Ever for like ten years, like way <laughs> back. Uh, he does. He does. Here's here's what I'm gonna tell you guys. He does look very similar to people. Like you could see him. He looks similar. He looks. I swear to God, he looks like a combo of people that I've met. Um. But there are some distinct things. He has a very sadistic smile. Like, you're not going to miss that. Okay? So, and his lip, he has a weird thin lip thing on the side with it. But the smile always has a look like, I just murdered people. Yeah. That look, that cannot be faked and that can't be hidden. That is actually <laughs> a trait. I, that's part of some, I don't know. Like, they haven't answered any of this shit yet. Okay, because they want to look at them and baby and cuddle men to death and let them murder us all and have the cops go, you know, this could happen to you, ladies, versus uh, fuck these men and we're going to try to target their fucking bullshit, right? So, um, yeah, so then he has something above, uh, like, a, and I'm like, kind of a warty type of feature <laughs> above his what eye is that okay so if i uh, his right eye yeah his right that's his right right yeah his right eye if i'm looking at the photo it's uh, like the left side of his face 
Um, and he also has a, a little bit of a chin feature here. But the way to really see that is look at the videos of him talking and listen to his voice. His voice. Um, voices will help you too. That's why I was like, yeah, dude, because what if, what if, what if he's like, looks nothing like that at all today? And you start hearing this voice. It's like, does the voice, does the voice match? Like, yeah, sound wise. Yeah. So I was like, those things are important. Um, I mean, if I have time, like on another day, I could like zoom in on the features that you should look at. You don't want to look, the cheek thing doesn't matter because like the, he could be fatter today. So you're not going to notice these like real chiseled thingies going on. It's the smirk. You can't hide the evil smile. The Joker. <laughs> I'm like the Joker. The Joker smile. We could just call it the Joker smile. We could, we should dub it though something because it, it, it's actually a trait that they, these types all have a certain type of them, like the Colovine killer, this one, the, has this trait, and I, it's, I, I don't know, like, they're never gonna, like, when they smile, they look like they just killed somebody, yeah, uh-huh, all of them, those ones, yeah, it's a scary smile, it's not a, it's not a, like, I'm really happy smile, it's, I mean, it's a happy, like, I did something criminal, it's like, <laughs> yeah, it's not a, it's not a thing, he can't hide it, he can't hide it. That's a good thing, though. He can't hide that look. So when they pulled out all these pictures, I was like, what? Those guys look totally normal. <laughs> I was like, those guys are totally normal looking dudes. It's not them. I mean, they might be rapists or something. But I mean, it's not this this type right here. 